This is the PMI gas spectrometer PYCG100A. It provides reliable measure of absolute density and absolute volume of powders and bulk solids using high precision volume measurements and density calculations. Absolute volume of solid samples is calculated from the measured drop in pressure when a known amount of gas is allowed to expand into a chamber containing a sample. Thus, the absolute volume obtained through pycnometry includes any pore volume accessible to the gas used. Helium is preferred, as it exhibits ideal gas behavior, but almost any non-corrosive gas may be used, including air. Absolute density is calculated by dividing the weight of the sample by the absolute volume. This video will guide the user through a test process and the resulting report generation. Make sure the machine is plugged into a power source and connected via USB to a computer on which the PMI software has been installed. The first action that should be taken is to ensure all parts are responding and functioning properly. To do this, open the software and click manual mode, located on the menu bar. This will allow control over the valves in order to test their functionality. In this case, a dual chamber PYCG100A is used which allows for an option to switch between sample chambers. When it is clear that all components are responding properly, the next step will be to calibrate the PYCG100A. This will ensure the accuracy of measurements taken from samples under test, and will only need to be performed upon first use of the machine or if it is suspected that measurements are inaccurate. To begin a calibration sequence, click the calibrate button on the menu bar and select volumes from the drop down menu. This will prompt the user to empty and seal the sample chamber. Before opening the sample chamber, check to see that it is sealed tightly enough and using a marker, make vertically aligned marks one on the cap and one on the fixed portion of the sample chamber, as shown. This will ensure that, upon resealing the chamber, the cap will return to the same position every time, which will in turn prevent variations in volume within the sample chamber. Open the desired sample chamber and ensure the o-ring is present and in good operating condition. If any damage to the o-ring is apparent, it will need to be replaced to ensure accurate test readings. Once this is done, replace the cap on the sample chamber and turn until closed. Soon, the software will prompt the user to insert a known volume into the chamber. In this case, a solid plug cylinder of known volume is used. Reseal the chamber, making sure to align the marked areas, and allow the sequence to complete. Upon completion, the software will display the sample chamber volume and the reference volume, and these values will be saved in the software to use in calculations when testing subsequent samples. Once calibration is complete, the user may begin measuring samples with the PYCG100A. The procedure is essentially the same as with the calibration sequence. Open the desired sample chamber and insert the sample to be tested. Remember to check the chamber and ensure the o-ring is in good condition. Close the sample chamber and make sure to turn the cap until the marks line up. This will ensure consistency between test results. Return to the computer with the software open and click run test on the menu bar. If the user is operating a model with more than one sample chamber, there will be an option to switch between them. Select the desired sample chamber and then click run test in the drop down menu. The software will then prompt the user for assurance that a sample is present in the sample chamber and that the vacuum pump and a gas supply are both connected. The user then clicks OK and a test setup window will open. There are fields for sample characteristics that must be measured by the user, including mass and bulk volume. There is an option to specify that the sample under test is a powder, which should be used if powders are tested, 
as this alters operation of the valves during testing to prevent dispersal of the sample. Note that this may increase the time taken to complete the test. Choose an output file allows the user to name and choose the save directory for the output file generated by the test. There is also an option to auto-generate a report from test data. Initial pressure and number of iterations may also be specified. In this example, three iterations will be run. If results for the first two iterations are reproducible, the third iteration will be bypassed. Options for units and test type may also be selected. When all parameters are set to desired values, the user may click OK and the test will begin. Conditions for the test, such as pressure, counts, and status, may be monitored from the window as the test progresses. If, for any reason, the user must end the test before it is complete, the abort button may be clicked. When the test is complete, a prompt window will appear displaying the volume and density of the sample. When OK is clicked, the software will generate a report. This will display more detailed information about the results. The results may also be exported and saved as an Excel file by clicking the To Excel File button. The Excel file may then be located in the PMI software folder. The software will automatically save the report for the last test that was run, so it may be brought up later on by clicking data in the menu bar and selecting data file from the drop down menu. If testing of further samples is desired, the user may remove the previous sample, making sure the sample cell is clear of any debris, insert a new sample and repeat the sequence. Where available, alternate sample chambers may also be used. This concludes the PMI gas pyknometer GP100A walkthrough. Thank you for watching.